Hello, and thank you for joining me on 8. I am Maggie. I am multi-dimensional Maggie, Miracle Maggie, Momentum Maggie, coming straight to you. So, of course, that's when the dog wants to, like, chime in. So, we are on day 45. Day 45. Ooh, day 45. And so on this momentum, momentum challenge on day 45, my dog is feeling like super excited whenever I go on. But anyway, we're starting day 45. We're going to just, I'm going to try something a little different today, but of course we're going to just keep coming because it's a momentum challenge. So there's no, you know, you have to this, you have to that. So we're going to just ground, take a nice deep breath. And just fill, let's just fill. I'm making it very basic, but you know, a lot of you we know. And open the crown. All right, hang on just a minute, because Okay, so we're gonna get on and popping with this day 45 because if, when we get going, the dogs always like chime in with us, don't they? Okay, so we, deep breath, grounding, filling. Every energy seminar, every energy center, like I don't wanna scare anybody away. Just fill, let the love of God, like be still and know I'm God, let it fill you. Let it just extend all the way out, open your crown. This is a beautiful time. And we are the beautifuls, the wonderfuls, amazings, beloveds, and the lovelies. And we are on day 45 of the Momentum Challenge. So we're gonna welcome in the angels. Okay, and I just want to thank you for your love, support, and patience as we are working through this momentum challenge. Because some days I am not able to always post one of these videos, but I do always try to throw something at you that's going to be positive or uplifting, even if it's pancakes, banana pancakes, or a gorilla made of butterflies. But what I wanted to talk to, to about today on day 45 is the scale of consciousness by david hawkins because many of us are on these journeys we've planted the seed and we're looking in this like beautiful field of manifesting something within the next 90 days so that day is the fourth of july it's going to be independence day for many of us but i also know that many of you will be manifesting the seed you planted on april 4th or whenever you come into this um you're going to be manifesting earlier so dreams, visions, purposes, acts of service, whatever that is, whatever that deep-seated chief aim and desire is. So what I wanted to just talk today about a little bit is I've just been wanting to do this a while, is I wanted to talk about the scale of consciousness developed by Dr. David Hawkins. Now this is a, is a tool that's used to measure the levels of human consciousness based on energy vibrations of different emotions and thought patterns. So like Tesla said, we want to understand the universe. We need to look into energy, frequency, and vibration, that three, six, nine. And so David Hawkins, I just have been profoundly touched by him. When I um, was studying under Dr. Dr. Rui Ryburn, uh, that's when I first had my first exposure. I think that's about 2013. And the map of consciousness has been just such a big part of helping me to heal. So I thought it could be very positive in our momentum challenge. So what I just covered, map of consciousness is a tool. It measures, it measures human consciousness. It me 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 measures emotions, energy vibrations, and thought patterns. Okay, so simple. Okay, this, and you're not gonna be tested. Okay, like we are, momentum challenging but some of you just never know 
as we are working together in this channel, what might touch your heart and elevate your soul and take you to that next step? So the scale ranges, of course it could be zero, but 20 to a thousand, with 20 being the lowest on the level of consciousness and a thousand being the highest. So you know what, a thousand, when that vibration is that high, I mean, it's very hard to stay in a dense form. You're just going to like ascend into the next dimension. So again, I'm just gonna kinda, so I'm gonna throw something out and then I'm gonna review it. So it's a scale, 20 to 1,000. I mean, I'm sure you can go to zero, but we don't want to. Um, so, but 20 is when he starts about, you know, when you muscle testing, he is, or a pendulum, right? 20 to 1,000, 20 the lowest, 1,000 the highest. And according to the book, there is only three masters known to hold the 1,000, um, Jesus, Buddha, Krishna. But I also believe too that there's many, many masters that uh, many of us, like when you look at um, Neville Goddard and Joseph Murphy, and they studied with Abdullah, and then just some experiences that I've had in my life, um, some masters are not, um, they don't appear to everyone. And so I do believe there's probably a few others, be, you know, intuitively so, besides Jesus, Buddha, and Krishna. But I also believe that since most of us know them, I would say Muhammad would be at points at that level. I know there's, so anyway, so, the uh, lowest, the, the, the scale of consciousness, it's divided into um, ranges of 100, right? So increments of 100. And so, okay, we can talk about muscle testing. I believe many of you are aware of muscle testing or kinesiology, but um, David Hawkins, like muscle tests, you know, for how true a statement is and, and where you might be in that level of consciousness. It's also kind of funny because um, the scale of conscious, the level of consciousness in nursing, we our medical field, we also have level of consciousness, but it has a totally different reference. But anyway, so it's increments of what? A hundred. And each range represents a significant change in consciousness. So let's think about shifting in the hundreds, but honestly, even the tiniest rainbow of a shift is going to uplift you into another life track. And so when you start studying like um, Brian Scott or Josiah Brandt, you start studying Neville Goddard, Joseph Murphy, Renee Garcia with Reality Transurfing, uh, Vadim Zeeland, you start um, Joe Dispenza. That's actually what they're doing incrementally is trying to help us move up however you want to like define it the energy frequency and vibration, as Tesla would say, uh, dialing up into a higher energy frequency and vibration where more is possible, where health is possible, prosperity is impossible, possible, abundance is possible, healthy relationships are possible, a new earth, a new earth social memory complex is possible, right? So if one is like switched into this dimension, they're not going to be actually affected by sickness or you know, poisoned water or, or war. And then the other thing too is that you may be in the middle of a water poisoning in an effort for the God in the universe to use you to elevate the, that low frequency. So here we go. So we are going, um, so I'm kind of like throwing it out there, but um, it ranges in hundreds. So increments of a hundreds. Each range represents a significant shift in consciousness. So there is a big difference between shame and guilt and peace, right? Peace in, peace out. They are vibrationally not, you know? So we want to think of uh, in, sh in increments of 100. However, every little bit counts. So for example, the range of 200 to 299 about represents the shift from predominantly negative. So anything 299 below is negative, but we're, it, we can't just put things in a nutshell because we can move through different levels of negative to get to positive. So it's not all negative, negative. So 
we, it represents the shift from predominantly negative to predominantly positive. So we want to have move into the sh positive shifts so that we can have that positive view of the world and of ourselves and of our temple and of our everything, our hair and our eyes and our YouTube channel. And so what is actually at uh, 200 is courage, right? So we start moving on. So what do you think happens? Okay, here's your challenge. What do you think happens when you have a predominantly positive worldview in your life? I would love to hear that in the comments, okay? Because this is why, um, this has helped me to actually kind of take a, a look at myself sometimes and muscle test where I'm at um, and how maybe if I find myself in shame and guilt, how I might want to move in through anger, back through pride, up through courage, into the higher vibrations. Or I might just be at love all day, every day and I'm wanting to extend that up into peace. So anyway, what would you do? What do you think would happen if you have a predominantly positive worldview? And in light of the momentum challenge, momentum with heart and mind aligned and intensity, how do you think that that might possibly help you? So that's just a little touch. Um, I'm going to touch on David Hawkins, and then I'm going to touch on, um, you know, positive, encouraging um, phrases and encouragements. But I'm just going to tell you that things get much better, and we weather storm the storms of life much better when we are holding the higher vibrations and we've got that Christ Jesus consciousness. And so that pray tell. And what, pray tell, energy starts around 200? Twin powers activate, except millions of powers activate. What ignites their courage? Any of you out there being courageous in this momentum challenge? I know you are because I'm hearing it in your comments and I'm hearing it in the feedback that I'm receiving through multiple avenues on Messenger and the such in real everyday life. So we're going to like wrap it up here, but I'm going to put, make a little note and I'm going to pick up where I left off and I'm going to start doing these little excerpts. I've got this beautiful chart to like hit on, but for today, that's a little teaser, but I want to just ask you, what do you think happens when you shift into courage and you have start to begin to have a predominantly positive view of your life? Um, Brian Scott had a beautiful meditation Saturday night, wherever you are in the world, about us being miracles and that everything is miracles and that we don't confine to like the, the limiting mindset and we're miracles. So think about that when you're in the positive view, view site, uh, viewpoint, how life will be. And also remember that courage is at 200. And I know so many of you have been so courageous in this momentum challenge. I've been just hearing it, I've been seeing it, and I've been feeling it, and I've been tasting it and touching it. It's like all around. So I wanna thank you so much for joining me. It's day four to five, day four to five. Day four to five. Now would be a great time right now. Hit like, subscribe, and leave your positive comments and tell me where you're at. I know many of you are versed in this very well, but also I know sometimes when you're wanting to like absorb a content even better, teaching it helps. And I just love David Hawkins. So, well, you guys, you know what's next. Ready? Peace in. Peace.